Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a podcast in Reaper. Now, one of the hardest parts of podcasting is having to edit later. So, what I usually recommend is creating a system where we could do it all live with very few edits. So the first thing I want to set up is our intro and outro music. So I'll create a new track. I'll name it music. I'll give it a color. Then I'm going to set up a MIDI input to this track. So we could trigger our intro music and our outro music with a USB MIDI keyboard. So I'll set the input to MIDI, a USB MIDI keyboard. Turn on input monitoring and put it into record. So if I play my keyboard, I should see level right over here. And I do. So I know it's working. So now I want to create a sample playback plugin on this track. So we'll go right here to the effects. And then we'll choose under Reaper, Resample Matic 5000 which we could use to trigger our intro and outro music. So now I'm going to go to the view menu and choose Media Explorer. And then I'm going to choose my intro and outro music. I'm going to go to my sound library. And right over here is my intro music. And over here is my outro music. So we'll start with the intro and drag it in to this plugin. Then I'm going to choose a note start and note end to trigger it. I'll type in 36, which is C2 in both spots. And if I hit C2 on my keyboard, it's going to trigger our intro. Let's add another plugin for the outro. We'll copy this and paste it, go to the outro music, and drag that into this plugin. And change the note to 38, which is D2 on both. And now C2 is going to trigger the intro. And D2 will trigger the outro. Now I want a way of controlling the volume of each of them. So I can mix them in and also fade them out when I need to. And we could do that with our USB keyboard as well, if there's any faders or knobs on it. So we'll start with the intro. I'm going to grab the volume and just move it and go up here to the parameter menu and choose Learn. Then I can move a fader or a knob on the MIDI controller to teach Reaper to control that parameter. So now if I move that fader, it's going to change the volume for our intro. Let's do the same thing for the outro using a different fader on my keyboard. Just move this one back and forth, go to the menu, learn, move another fader or knob, and Reap is going to learn that function. Now I can move it and adjust the volume for the outro music. So let's see how it works in practice. Starting with the intro. And now the outro. Perfect. And now let's create some tracks for our vocal mics. For the talent, let's add one here, name it mic one, give it a different color, and set the input to mic number one. 
which for me is when my first mic is plugged in to my computer audio interface. I actually have four mics for this project, but you can use as many or as little as you need. Let's turn on monitoring for this track and put it into record. Now, instead of setting up plugins from scratch to process the vocal mic, I already saved an effects chain. So let's right click over here, go to effects chains, and choose the effects chain I saved. And then we could run through what each effect does. I'm starting off with Refer, which is noise reduction for any room noise on the mic. And what we could do is set this to precise, about a thousand as far as the size and best quality. Then we'll choose the mode of subtract, which is gonna remove noise based on what we sample. So let's reset this, turn on, automatically build noise profile, and see how it shows up when we turn on the mic. See how the profile shows up? This is what we wanna reduce, or sample to reduce. Let's turn this off. So this is gonna reduce any noise or room tone from the mic. Now let's check out what I added afterwards. The first thing I added was a three band splitter, which is gonna split the EQ into three separate parts. The low end, which is 120 hertz all the way down, the mids, which is 120 to 4K, and the highs, which is 4K and up. And it splits the frequencies, as we can see in the pinouts, right over here. It comes in with two inputs and goes out with six. Three stereo pairs for low, mid, and high. Then we can put a compressor on each band. I have one for low, mids, and the highs, with a fast attack and a pretty fast release. And it's gonna work on each frequency completely separately, creating a more polished sound. And the way it's being split on the pins, the low end, one and two, going to one and two, the mids, is three and four going to three and four, and the highs are five and six going to five and six. And then it's gonna combine them with this plugin, three band joiner. And we could hear each frequency by turning the other two off. So the low end sounds like this. Microwaves, this is a World War II attempt to communicate. And it's compressing right here. Microwaves, this is a World War II attempt to communicate. Or the mid-range that we're compressing over here. Microwaves, this is a World War II attempt to communicate. And finally, the top end, which we're compressing over here. Microwaves, this is a World War II attempt to communicate and we're compressing about two to three dB on each. And then finally, we can compress the whole thing at about four to one with a medium attack and release. Microwaves, this is a World War II attempt to communicate. Again, about two or three dB of compression, giving us a very polished sound as each frequency is compressed separately and then combined. We could duplicate this for each mic. Let's copy this and paste it. Rename this one mic two and change the input to mic two and do the same with the others. And now we're ready to record our podcast. And like I said, we could do this in real time. We could start with the intro music and fade it in to the person speaking and bring in the outro music at the end and record it all live. In fact, we should change the music track to record 
the output and choose record output stereo. So it's going to record the audio on this track along with any volume changes we make. Now I've shortened this quite a bit and I'm actually only using one mic, but I think you get the idea. So let's give it a shot. Hit the intro music. Microwaves. This is a World War II attempt to communicate using microwaves. And they found out some guy's chocolate bar melted in the microwave field. And they said, what happened there? And they did some more tests. And of course, the water molecule and other molecules common in food respond to microwaves. It vibrates them ferociously. And so you put food in a microwave cavity. The water content of the food vibrates. Friction cooks the food. And just like that, we recorded our podcast. We could always change things afterwards, as everything is on separate tracks. But if you get pretty good at this, as far as doing the fades and bringing in the vocal, you can get away with doing less editing. And then when you're done, we can just render this to an audio file. Just go to the File menu and choose Render. And we can render the master mix based on the entire project, give it a name, our sample rate, make it mono or stereo, choose the output format, could be a wave or an MP3, and just create your final podcast file. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a podcast in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>